On Wednesday, Delhi Environment Minister Gopal Rai said that anyone caught producing, storing or selling firecrackers in Delhi will face a fine of 5,000 rupees and a three-year jail term. The minister said that those who burst firecrackers in the national capital would face up to six months in jail and a fine of 200 rupees. Soon, this issue was given communal overtones. Delhi is one of the most polluted capital cities globally and India is one of the top most polluted countries in the world. Still, we don't have a national framework or policy related to firecrackers. Can a national issue have a state-specific policy response? Let's unbreak this news. Delhi ki andar, jo log aadesh ka ulanghan karte huye, utpadan, bhandaran aur bikri mein sanlagn paaye jayenge, unke khilaaf section 9b explosive act ke tahat karwai hogi. जिसके तहत पाँच हज़ार रुपये तक का जुर्माना और तीन साल तक की सज़ा होती है ये जो एक्सप्लूसिव एक्ट नाइन बी है ये उत्पादन भंडारण बिक्री पर लागू किया जाएगा जो लोग खरीद करके अवैध तरीके से जलाते हुए पाए जाएंगे उनके खिलाफ आईपीसी की धारा टू सिक्स एट टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एट के तहत कार्रवाई होगी जिसमें दो सौ रुपए का जुर्माना और छह महीने की जेल का प्रावधान है अ डे आफ्टर डेलीज एनवायरमेंट मिनिस्टर अनाउंस्ड अ कंप्लीट बैन ऑन फायर क्रैकर्स एंड जेल एंड फाइन फॉर वायोलेटर्स अ पॉलिटिकल स्लग फेस्ट इंस्यूड इन द नेशनल कैपिटल डेली बीजेपी स्पोक्स पर्सन रिलीज दिस वीडियो ऑफ सपोर्टर्स ऑफ आम आदमी पार्टी न्यूली इंडक्टेड मिनिस्टर राजकुमार आनंद बर्स्टिंग फायर क्रैकर्स एंड सेलिब्रेटिंग द एलिवेशन ऑफ आनंद एस ए मिनिस्टर The BJP spokesperson gave communal colors to the incident and said in a tweet, "If Hindus burn crackers on Diwali, there will be pollution. Arvind Kejriwal will send them to jail. But if the firecrackers are burnt in the joy of becoming a minister of Kejriwal, oxygen will come out of it." अगर 24 घंटे पहले दिवाली के ऊपर ये ऐलान किया गया कि पटाखे जलाने पर आपको छह महीने के लिए जेल भेजा जाएगा, अरविंद केजरीवाल के मंत्री ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करके कहा तो 24 घंटे के बाद क्या वो पटाखों ने ऑक्सीजन देनी शुरू कर दी इसका मतलब ये है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल क्या हिंदू विरोधी है क्या सिर्फ हिंदू त्योहारों पर पाबंदी होगी अगर वही पटाखे उनके मंत्री के नियुक्त होने पर जश्न मनाने पर जलाए जाते हैं तो वो पटाखे ऑक्सीजन दे रहे हैं मेरा सवाल ये है आज अरविंद केजरीवाल ये बताएं कि क्यों उन्होंने दशहरे पे पटाखों पर पाबंदी लगाई थी क्यों उन्होंने दुर्गा पूजा विसर्जन पे पाबंदी लगाई थी यमुना जी में क्यों उन्होंने छठ पूजा में यमुना जी में पाबंदी लगाई थी सिर्फ हिंदुओं त्योहारों से अरविंद केजरीवाल को नफरत क्यों है दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम अ बैन ऑन फायर क्रैकर्स ड्यूरिंग दिवाली हैज रिजल्टेड इन अ पोलिटिकल स्लग फेस्ट एवरी ईयर दीज मैन आर कॉल्ड डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी बाई सर्टन पार्टीज and political party leaders indulge in mud slinging matches but india's top court stated last year that a ban on fire crackers was not against any community the supreme court had said under the guise of enjoyment you cannot play with the lives of citizens we are not against a particular community we want to send a strong message that we are here for the protection of fundamental rights of citizens that apart The Supreme Court on Thursday refused to hear an urgent plea seeking the removal of a complete ban on firecrackers in the national capital. The plea filed by BJP MP Manoj Tiwari was refused by the apex court by saying, "Let the people of Delhi breathe clean air." The cracker ban issue is being seen as a fight between freedom of religion and the right to life. While BJP MP Manoj Tiwari has said that freedom of religion cannot be taken away under the pretext of right to life, environmentalists say the right to life is supreme and freedom of religion cannot be used to suppress citizens right to breathe clean air while the politics over pollution continues in the national capital the city's air quality levels are set to deteriorate in the coming days as per one such world air quality index report as of october 21st delhi is the world's second most polluted city with aqi levels of 161 and delhi has been placed under the unhealthy category The Central Pollution Control Board's National Air Quality Index also places nearly all places within the national capital in very poor and poor categories. The CPCB states poor means breathing discomfort to most people on prolonged exposure and very poor means 
respiratory illness on prolonged exposure. The other contributing factor to pollution is the problem of stubble burning. The Center for Science and Environment said on Thursday that concentrated stubble burning around Diwali might compound the problem of pollution. Pollution is not a national capital related issue. India has some of the most polluted cities in the world. Yet, we don't have a national framework when it comes to a ban on firecrackers and pollutants. Some of the states have formulated their own rules when it comes to firecrackers. Depending on which state you live in, you can either be jailed or given a free hand to celebrate this Diwali by bursting crackers. And look at the extremes. While you will be allowed to burst crackers in Punjab for a two-hour window period from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on October 24th, in neighboring Delhi, you can be jailed for buying or bursting crackers. In Tamil Nadu, you will be allowed to burst crackers for an hour, twice a day between 6 to 7 a.m. and 7 to 8 p.m. But in West Bengal, only green firecrackers will be permitted during the Kali Puja on October 24th. Even when pollution is a national issue, we still don't have a national framework for firecrackers. Will a state-specific response be enough to tackle a serious problem like pollution affecting all citizens' health and quality of life? India is home to the world's most polluted cities. Yet, our response to pollution is seasonal. Air pollution in India is a national challenge and so it begs for a national response.